Okay, folks, here we go. Cisco Stealth Watch. We're going to analyze flows, and this one's going to be focused on flow filter. Um, so it, whether it's a flow uh, that you're interested in from maybe compromised host, spike in traffic, copyright infringement, there's a couple tools that we, we, we can leverage um, to get the data. So we're going to focus on the flow filter uh, capability, and we're going to go through a couple of these um, in the series. And um, what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll show you how to get the data that you're interested in, and then we'll go through a couple scenarios. So in this case, what we're doing is we're looking at the um, flows for inside hosts. So we grab the flow table, and here this will pop up, and then we're going to start filtering um, based on some specific attributes that we're interested in. So we'll hit filter. And the very first thing that comes up is date and time. Um, here we can do for the last uh, uh, you know, five minutes, uh, days, hours, etc. We can do th from a time period perspective, right? As well as um, you know, for uh, the day, for example. As we go through, we look at hosts. So we can do it based on client or server hosts. We can do it based on client, based on server. We can include and exclude. So lots of ways to parse the data. Um, it, again, based on what you're interested in. Now we go to identity. And identity, um, we can do a, a variety of different things here, right? So in, in this case, we're looking for user-based information. So we can use uh, wildcards, right, at, uh, for example. We can also put in uh, usernames that we're interested in, it, in and multiple usernames uh, as well, right? Using a comma. You can also copy and paste uh, from a comma separated uh, value, so CSV um, as well with the list of names. And there's a couple of uh, characters that <clears throat> excuse me, that you can't use. Um, so it, first and foremost, it's not case sensitive. And then second, you can see a list of them uh, th highlighted there. A couple of characters that you cannot uh, uh, leverage in uh, usernames. So from here, we're going to continue. And here you can see that we could select... Um, a specific interface that we may want or are interested in. Now, this could be um, every device, uh, or it can be very specific right down to the interface level. And moving along, so now server and applications. We can do filter by services, filter by applications. Um, you can include and exclude, uh, as we've seen before. You can see there's uh, quite a list of uh, applications and services um, available. In this case, we'll just show uh, at a high level RDP, and then we'll come back to this, and we'll actually do a, a flow search on SSH, for example. So you can see here, just scrolling along, um, and we're going to select our RDP or remote desktop. Moving along, ports and protocols. So again, uh, you know, uh, we can include or exclude. We can filter based on TCP and UDP ports, uh, or we can filter based on client ports. We'll move along to uh, routing. And here we can filter based on DSCP values, so uh, QoS. We can also filter based on autonomous system number, VLAN ID, and MPLS label. Moving along, uh, the traffic icon. So now we can start really filtering things out, right? So filter by total bytes, filter by total packets, filter by client bytes, filter by client packets, filter by server bytes, filter by server packets. 
if we go along to performance, um, now we can filter by uh, total TCP connections, TCP tra retransmissions, uh, minimum round trip time, uh, average round trip trip time maximum round trip time server response time average server response time and maximum server response time application details so we can actually look within the application itself um, and um, pull out uh, things that match like get post um, for example uh, based on string um, and be able to parse the data now in order to do this, you will uh, require flow sensor or exporting payload within uh, flexible NetFlow to collect and store that information, right? And advanced, you can see there's a couple of uh, capabilities here. You can limit the, the query to a maximum number of flows. Um, you can also uh, check the uh, remove duplicate uh, of uh, duplication of flows and you can also include uh, interface data as well so lots of different options so let's just go back to applications and we're going to select uh, ssh and here we go and when we say OK, you're going to see fairly quickly that uh, all the flows uh, attributed to SSH, uh, even if it's undefined. Um, and then we can uh, continue our search from there. So it's very easy to filter the data or, or the flows that you're very interested in. And that's it, folks.